Hi guys, welcome to the fourth moment weekly roundup and this is where you get your weekly dose of local football action and with me as usual is Andrew Bukwini, coach of Anova Park. Andrew, welcome. Always a pleasure. <laughs> How are you today? Better than Saturday. Better than Saturday. I'm recovering as every day that goes past since Saturday I'm getting better and better. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. No problem. Okay. Right guys, yes, uh, obviously there was uh, Right now, no LFA action taking place, mm -hmm. which is a bit sad, I actually miss it. <laughs> yeah, no, I do miss it as well, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, miss, miss our field being full of LFA players training, and yeah, yeah it's a bit quiet now, it's just quiet. on the ABC team there. It's too quiet. So obviously, yeah, we've got ABC Mutsepe action and also uh, Regional Men's League 3rd Division taking place. Mm. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to touch over the ABC, the 3rd Division, and also then um, of a tournament that's taking place over the weekend. So. Let's get into it, uh, Andrew. Um, there was matches on Friday night on the ABC Motsepe League. Uh, Zizwe and Bukwini um, Sundowns. So Bukwini Sundowns going down 3-1 to Zizwe. But a surprise for me. I thought they would have given a tougher account of themselves then. No, listen, you know, Zizwe at home is tough to beat. Eh? Mm. Um, and Bukwini, they've been up and down. You know, they, they had a big yeah. big result last week at home against Grassy Park. They got a hammering their first game against Marty's. Mm. I think uh, Mbukwene will be judged on their home, home form. Home form, okay. Uh, they won their one home game out of one, they've yeah. lost two away. I think at home they'll, they'll be better. These were tough, always yeah. tough to beat there in Younger. I hear the, 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 the crowd is always packed at the Younger when these was playing. Yeah, yeah. listen, uh, <laughs> I saw a video of, of the one goal and it was full. Full, yeah. It was packed. No, that was a great goal. Great. Um, four scored two, so it was a good, good, good oh, game lovely. for them. Lovely, okay. And then Cape Town Spurs going down to Ikapa Sporting 2-0 uh, at Ikamfa. Listen, um, Ikapa to me are one of the top teams in that stream. Eh? They'll mm. definitely be competing for top spot. Uh, Coach Mike's got a good squad there. Okay. Um, Cape Town Spurs at home struggling. Uh, mm. I think they've got one point from, from their two games. Yeah, they haven't been, do, they haven't been do, doing too well. No. Yeah. Um, and I think they've they got a tough game again this weekend. So hopefully they can you know, get back on the board again. Yeah. And then uh, Grossi Park United uh, getting one over out by there at home at William Herbert on Friday night. So they've, they've come back. Um, from their sort of bad start, Coach Shakes, like you said. I said last week, I said, don't, I said, that's the game of the weekend. Yeah. And I said, don't look at Grassy Park's two results. Uh, you know, we, like I said, we played them twice in a friendly, very good team. Yeah. And they had to come right. Listen, Hout Bay, you know, done well. They won their first two games before Friday night. But Grassy Park at William Herbert's always a tough assignment. And, you know, their first home game, they didn't arrive against Zizwe. And now they're there. The ABC League, you know, it's tough to beat teams yeah. away from home. And I think, you know, Grossi Park, maybe this will get them going. I remember last year, they had a slow start. Yes. And they came towards the end. Yeah. Uh, they were like those Formula One cars chasing Verstappen and <laughs> off they were coming. Um, but I think, um, listen, from now on, they're going to be a tough, tough nut to crack. Okay. Right, and then uh, Marty's at home on Saturday, uh, beating New Boys City Kings 4-2. Yeah, yeah, sure. Marty's on uh, doing well, eh? Yeah, I mean, their first two home games, they won 6-2 and 4-2. Mm. So, they did very well. They went to Hart Bay um, last weekend and lost. But listen, mm. getting six points after their first three games. Yeah. That's good for Marty's. Definitely. So, the Kings, new team on the block. Yeah. They've had, they've had two draws. They drew with Santos 0-0. No, no. They drew mm. with Cape Town Spurs 1-1. Mm. And I think, you know, the new teams are finding it tough in this league. Both streams, to be honest. Yeah, I can't wait to go watch all the new guys play. Mm. Um, Guys like City Kings and the other oh, we guys. Played them, we played them twice in a friendly. Nice nice team. Okay. A lot of, a lot of young guys, Co bit of experience at the back. Coached by? Uh, Craig Rossley. Oh, is he coached? The ex-Ajax coach. Yeah, now. okay. So, yeah, very cool. nice team. Okay. And then, uh, okay, that was the matches for the for that stream. And then just looking at the fixtures coming up. Uh, we just spoke about them. By all accounts, this should be then a good game. Ikapa Sporting versus Matis. Should be a good game. My money's on Ikapa, uh, being at home at NY49. Mm. Uh, tough to beat. Long trip for Marty's on Friday night. Mm. Uh, it's a seven o'clock kickoff. Um, yeah, listen, I think I think Ikapa, you know, at home, the, I think they'll get the result. Get the, okay. And then 7.30 p.m. Uh, kickoff there on Friday. Hout Bay versus Hizwe. Oh, you know, two, two top teams. <laughs> uh, like I said, you know, I think it's between the two of them and yeah. Ikapa for top spot. Maybe Grassy Park or we late, make a late run maybe to put yeah. them under pressure. But I think Hart Bay home, Zizwe away, sure, mm. tough one. If I recall last year, or if I recall in the Ned Bank, they played each other, uh, and Zizwe got through on penalties. Yeah. So it's, it will be tight. Either way, it's going to be tight. Hart Bay at home, tough to beat. Yep. And then uh, City Kings on Saturday afternoon, three o'clock, playing against Grassy Park. Yeah. Grassy Park, I'm sure Coach Shakes want to would carry want to carry on that momentum there sure. from last week. Yeah, and City Kings need to bounce back, and mm. they're at home. Um, so. You know, yeah, it's a tough one to call. Like I said, I've played both of them twice in preseason. Mm. Both good teams, well-structured teams. 
Um, I don't want to call that. Maybe a draw. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one, the uh, how do you say two old PSL <laughs> teams, uh, yeah. Santos FC versus Cape Town Spurs on sure. Saturday at uh, in Thornton, their Santos home ground. Oh, another tough one for yeah. Spurs. I eh? think they're both struggling at the moment. Uh, yeah, I think more, more Spurs than, than I than think Santos. yeah more Spurs than Santos. Listen, Santos, if memory serves me, haven't scored a goal yet. Okay. Um, they need to get on the score sheet. Um, and I think Cape Town Spurs, you know, they'll play the normal brand of football, very mm. good football. Uh, Santos, we know, you know, from all the years, tough to beat at home. Yeah. So that's another tough one to call. Um, maybe another draw. Yeah. Also, the the the, the pitch at uh, Thornton is not as uh, smooth as uh, in Kampfa, obviously, and obviously the wind is a, a factor there. Yeah, yeah. Also on and listen, the weather forecast for Saturday is gale force wind, just by the way. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay, so long ball, I mean, yeah, long ball. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, looking at the log very quickly for stream A, uh, Marty stop on the log. Yeah, good, six good place to be as yeah. compared to last year. Yeah, they played an extra game uh, compared yeah. to Zizwe and Ikapa, but yeah. listen, six points from three games, you take yeah. it all day long. Zizwe second, Ikapa third. I would pay fourth, that's the top four as you call the day of Grossi Park in fifth spot. And Bukwene in sixth, City King seventh, Santos at eighth and uh, Spurs in ninth spot there. As you were saying, yeah, no goal scored by Santos yet. Um, yeah, I yeah. think they need to get their scoring boot on. It's, you know, they, they, they need to get a result this weekend. Okay. Then looking at uh, stream B, um, matches played over the past weekend. Ukanya and Ubuntu. Ubuntu winning 2-1 um, at Roy Karan's day against Ukanya. Mm. New boys. Listen, Ubuntu, nice team. Uh, a lot mm. of young players, very yeah. nice team as usual. Yes. Um, yeah, it's always tough to go away from home to win. And I think they, Coach Moritz sort of, you know, he always intimates that they're very, they're very tough to beat at Ocean View. Mm. And when they go away, you know, they, they're trying to get used to getting away oh, from yeah. home and getting results. And I think, you know, that's good for them to win away there 2-1. Yeah. And then uh, result of the day, Evin Rangers beating an overpark three goals to one. How was that game? Next game? <laughs> no, listen, um, I think it was a valuable yeah. lesson for us. You know, we, yeah. we made, you know, three errors at the back and we got punished for all of mm. them and that's the ABC League. Yeah. Um, and we had, we created a number of chances, we just didn't execute. I thought our play in the final third was poor mm. uh, compared to previous games and how we had trained and, you know, yeah. our, our strategy we had yeah. for the game we didn't quite hit it and the mistakes we made we got punished listen I, F and Rangers were a top team yeah I was going to uh, say obviously top team. This, this may top. be a reason why you guys didn't click because yeah listen yeah. you know we might have made the same mistakes the previous two weeks and not got but punished but you weren't punished yeah. and you know they, that's a sign of a top team you know they've yeah. got the experience of winning the stream they've got the experience of being in the playoff final Yeah. Um, and you know I think uh, what's driving them I think this season is that pain of losing to Zizwe last year mm. I could see it the players are, are um, very it's hard. It's like tough. something left behind. Mm. They want to get there. So, yeah, they're going to be oh, tough good. to beat in the stream, yeah. uh, to be honest. They've only played two games, but they're yeah. going to be tough to beat in the stream. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we're going to have to pick up our socks this weekend and get a result. Yeah, look, I mean, even if you weren't sitting here, I would say this. I mean, that's a good win for FN Rangers. And Over Park have sure. made sort of um, impact on the league, being new boys even. But uh, FN Rangers are having a good result there. Then, um, Battalions FC and Young Bafana. Young Bafana winning 3-0 there against Battalions, sure. and that's a win. Oh, that was a day night game, eh? they kick off at five o'clock there. Yeah. Now, listen, that was a great result. I was actually, you know, I was getting the result update, the scoring update all mm. the time on my phone. Yeah. And, you know, Young Bufana, you know, sure, when we get to the log later, you'll see. We'll check with that, oh, yeah. um, you know, they went to, to Beaufort, winning, winning away, mm. you know, 2 1, first game of the season. They go to Battalions, which is a tough place to go to, and they win 3 0. Yeah. Uh, they drew with us at home, 0 0. You know, they got three top results there. Yeah. And I think, you know, we've got to watch out for them. And I think Coach Dylan Dean is very experienced. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the tough team to beat. Yeah, look, it's good for the league. I mean, so many teams that, that, that are, um, that, that's challenging, that can challenge mm. for the league. Then looking at the fixtures for the weekend, um, all on Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. Uh, Cleewood uh, playing hosting Okanya. Uh, that's happening at probably at Edgemead. Yeah. And then FN Rangers uh, hosting Battalions. Sure. That's going to be a good game there. Yeah. I think Battalions was the team that had the bye last week, eh? No, Battalions lost to Young Bufana away. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, but they, they're going to be coming <laughs> there. They lost away game. They drew 1-1 one, one with Clearwood. So, okay. you know, they're tough to beat. And then just talking about Coach Dylan Dean there, he's going, uh, he's hosting Wanderers there. Sure. Uh, Coach Gabby and the boys. And then Royal Blues uh, hosting Anova Park. Oh, you're doing a trip to uh, Beaufort this weekend. Uh, uh, so. Yeah, listen. 
it's a, I don't know if it's a holiday or if it's a, <laughs> if it's a work-related weekend. Uh, it should be a work-related weekend. We need to get the three points. But yeah, another tough assignment for us away yeah. uh, in Beaufort. Yeah. And listen, while we're talking about Clearwood, you know, congratulations to them for, for winning the yes. Nedbank uh, final, regional yeah. final. Yeah. And they're now in the last 32 yeah. main draw of the Nedbank Cup. Yeah. And you know, good luck to them. Hopefully they get a nice PSL team and they're at home and we can all go and watch them maybe at Athens yeah. Stadium true, or something. True. Um, so, well, congratulations, Coach Ashraf, the technical team yeah. and all the owners and players of Clearwood, you know, from the fourth moment, Congrats. Yeah, definitely. We look, we, we look forward to in supporting you guys, whoever the opponents are. And then looking at that log, the Young Bafana in Stream B, top of the log for Stream B. Uh, Ubuntu second place. FN Rangers in third spot. Obviously, FN Rangers only playing two games, so six points out of the two games so far. And Nova Park in fourth. Battalions fifth. Wanderers sixth. Clearwood seventh. Uh, Okanya eighth. And Royal Blues in ninth spot there. Yeah, so we're in the Champions League positions, top four, I'm happy. <laughs> Remember, this is only a stream, it's not the league. Probably. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but hey, it's always positive. <laughs> okay, that was the ABC Mutsepi League. Um, we're going to jump right into the third division. As usual, a lot of action there sure. in the third division. Love the third division. Uh, all our local boys doing their thing there. So, yes, um, we've got quite a few games. I don't think we're going to go through all of the matches. Yeah, listen, there were, there were 18 games <laughs> over the weekend. I, I think maybe we should just pick out a few, few results there because there were yeah. quite a few, you know, you know, like I said, you know, it's, we don't know a lot of new teams, yeah. new players and everything. Um, I sort of have an idea on my mind just from what I've seen and what I've heard or who I think will be in the top five this year. Um, but there are a lot of a lot of big results on the weekend. Yeah. Just look at the uh, first result, they, um, I think it was uh, goal 50 and Junction, Junction Rovers beating goal 52-1 there. That was obviously the Edeville derby. Sure. Uh, I heard it was a big crowd, which was great, yeah. which yeah. is great. Our guy, uh, the Carlos Neyman, was taking snaps there. So if you want to check at that, photos, go to our Facebook page and uh, or group and have a look at that. And then uh, the Green Machine is moving on. Greenwood beating Jomo Powers uh, 2-1 at Solo Street. Um, Ocean View suffering another loss 2-1 there um, against Cape Moyo. Yeah. And then uh, those were on Friday night. And then on... Saturday, Invincible Craven B and Jamestown, both sort of new boys. Jamestown obviously being taken over, Coach sure. Russell there, uh, beating uh, Invincible 3-0. That's a good result. Yeah, Jamestown winning away from home. Listen, Invincible Craven B, uh, they've had a bit of a struggle, struggling start to the season. You know, they've, they've mm. lost their first three games. There's been yeah. a few teams that lost their first three games, but they're one of them. You know, let them find their feet. You know, let's look at them after maybe eight games and see yeah. if they're picking up points. Otherwise, it's going to be a long season for them. Yeah, the difference of this league and the ABC, obviously, they can play, that's it, 32 games? Yeah, 34 so games. 34 matches uh, to be played. Then the other result, the new boys on the block, uh, Cape Town, well, Milano playing under the Cape Town United banner, beating Premier 2-1. That's a good result for Milano. Yeah, listen, you know, Milano have, have recruited quite well. Uh, late in the transfer window, they closed on Friday. They recruited mm. very well, brought in quite a lot of experience. And, you know, okay. we'll see a bit later. You know, they, they had two good wins on the weekend. Yeah. And then Woodlands and Saxon, two old Saxon new boys. They're obviously getting a two old draw with Woodlands. That's not a bad result for them. No, listen, and, and uh, Woodlands equalized in injury time in that game on Saturday. Okay. So, yeah, good result away from home for Saxons. Yeah. And then just look at some of the other results there. Premier and Vasco. Vasco beating Premier United 3-2 there. It's yeah. always a good match. Um, uh, yeah, I was at that game. Um, okay. It was very entertaining. Uh, both teams <laughs> came down to 10 men in the second half. Oh, very entertaining. Uh, yeah, very entertaining. <laughs> well, listen, it was just, it was two yellow cards. It wasn't, wasn't that entertaining. Okay. But um, listen, you know, Vasco, I think the difference in Vasco and Premier on Sunday was Vasco more structured. Okay. Um, you know, in this league, you got to have structure. You yeah. can't, you know, you can't be playing freestyle. You know, the, all the time. Yeah. All the time. So Vasco, you know, sure, big ups to them. It was a good result for them away from home, and they, you know, they had lost to Silver Spurs at home last week, mm. so they needed a big result. So you know, Vasco back in back in the frame here again. Okay, and then just look at some of the matches coming up this weekend. Um, actually, yes, this weekend. Well, tonight being uh, Tuesday night, there's a match. Um, that is Junction Rovers and Cape Moyo. And then on Wednesday is Cape Town City and Trinitarians. And then from Friday, the action starts again. Um, that, sorry, that Junction game, um, that Junction Rovers game against Cape Amore has been moved due to load shedding. Again? That's moved to next week, Tuesday. You keep interrupting me with this load shedding. I can't help it, you know. It's Jeez, gone. It's yes. gone. Okay, and then uh, looking at some of the other fixtures there. Silver Spurs versus Premier United. That's sure. on Friday night. That's a match I want to try to get to, definitely. That's going to be a nice one. And then... Um, 
Again, it'll be very interesting to see. And sorry, it's 8.45 kickoff. 8.45? Um, we just got to make a note that Silver Spurs Premier United Friday night, which is the only Friday night game in the third division, is kicking off at 8.45. 8.45? At Hickory Road due to load shedding. Um, uh, so I don't think my wife will allow me out there. No, no, no. no, no. So you fall asleep at 8 anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then some of the other uh, matches there. Trinis versus Ocean View. That's going to be a nice one. At mm. Itzer, Woodlands and Junction. That's a good one. Um, and then obviously Trini's catching up. They're playing on Sunday also uh, between, against Woodlands. Trini's and Woodlands. On yeah, Sunday. Woodlands got a double header, um, mm. and w- Trini's are playing Saturday as well. So both mm. got double header. But please, you know, if you if you're looking Saturday afternoon, you're a bit bored, and there's no World Cup game that enticing you to watch. Go out to Hedefeld. There's a double header there. At three o'clock, it's Woodlands versus Junction. At five o'clock, it's Goal Fifty versus Greenwood. So it's uh, two big games. You know, Junction Rovers, Greenwood, both unbeaten. Yeah. Uh, so are Woodlands. So you're going to get, you know, two for the price of one, basically, yeah. that hater felt. Yeah. Uh, if you're paying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, then uh, just looking at the log there. Um, Greenwood top of the log at the moment. I suppose this is the usual suspects there. Greenwood top, Silver Spurs second, Junction. Let's go fourth. Unusual yeah. suspect. Mm-hmm. Uh, Milano, obviously, after their two wins in fifth spot. And then um, Jamestown completing the top six there. Yeah, listen, I, you know, we always say look after eight or nine games. Mm. But, you know, my, my opinion is, you know, Greenwood Junction, Trinitarians, um, you know, those, those teams could be in the top, in, at least in the top five coming into yeah. the season. Um, they'll all be fighting for the title. Yeah. But like I said, it's early days. You know, some teams have beefed up their squads on Friday, so things could yeah. change. There's no and easy games. And There's also, no also games. transfer window, does it, it close? It's closed now. Yeah. And, and then it opens? It opens the 15th of January. January. Same as the ABC. It runs from the 15th okay. of January to the 15th of Feb. And I suppose after that, then we'll see actually who's yeah. winning as well, because then... And especially the third division, because yeah. there are many games. You're going to be playing around 20 games with no, no more transfer window. Yeah. Uh, whereas the ABC, you know, you're going to be playing the last 10 games yeah. uh, with the transfer window open, yeah. Okay, and then um, as we said, that's the, the wrap on the on the third division. And then as we said earlier on, we've got the, a tournament taking place this weekend. Uh, very few senior tournaments. This one is a senior tournament. Stand Turf C- Senior Tournament of Dreams taking place at Rocklands mm. this weekend. Uh, we're just going to run through some of the groups there. The fixtures are out. Um, if you don't find them, just go to our Facebook page and we'll post them there for you. Um, some good groups here, uh, just got some changes. We've got um, Silver Spurs have been replaced by Heath Athletic, so Heath Athletic in the tournament. Uh, Lente here uh, from which is playing uh, also in the tournament now. And then, um, yeah, I think that's, the, that's sort of the, the only changes of new teams coming in. Yeah. Um, Games start from nine o'clock in the morning. Nine o'clock on Saturday, yeah. uh, all the way through, and then, and Sunday. then Sunday all day again. Yeah. yeah. So look at some of the good groups we were looking at last time. Was uh, uh, where is that? We just playing group. Yeah, yeah, group G. Was it G? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's group F and G are the two two okay. groups. A lot of Mitchell's playing teams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so quite a lot of exciting games going to take place sure. there. Uh, all the way from Group A to, to Group H. So yeah, if you've got time uh, and you're close to Rocklands uh, Sports Field, go make a turn there and support the Tournament of Dreams. Very few senior tournaments taking place no. in Cape Town. Yeah. Um, we were there last year, we covered the event and um, well run. Uh, matches are mostly on time and mm. the conditions are, are good for football. No, listen, and, and you know, at the end of the day, it's your last opportunity to see your club play before the, before the break. Yeah. Um, and like I said, Group F, you know, that's a Mitchell's playing group with teams like Stan Turf, FC Tafel, so Cedar Park, Rockefellers. So, yeah. you know, we know that they you know well supported. It's a Mitchell's playing tournament in Mitchell's playing. So, yeah. you know, please go out and support and, the and tournament. The H, the H is Beacon Spurs, Fulham, Meadow Ridge, the only outsider, and then Mowgli's also. <laughs> it's very nice. It's going to be entertaining. Mowgli's, yeah, I haven't heard that name in a while. Anyway, guys, before we go, um, anything else before we go? You want to add? No? No. Cool. Before we go, we want to say thanks to our uh, apparel sponsors, which is now Vecchio. Uh, if you're unsure, because somebody asked me, what happened to Loris and why? So basically, uh, Loris has changed their name to Vecchio. So the new name is Vecchio. So our sponsors are Vecchio. So we want to say very thanks, uh, a big thanks uh, to them for uh, supporting us with our apparel and so on. And be, out, be sure to support them. They're still out in Maitland, in Beach Road. Uh, there's a lot of new kit coming out. Also, I can tell you, uh, for this season coming, there is going to be some specials on the Vecchio brand, uh, especially for our teams in our communities. Um, watch this space for all of those details. And yeah, maybe if you want to look fresh uh, for next year, um, you can uh, maybe get a kit from the new Vecchio. And uh, yeah, from uh, my side, that's it. And um, yeah, until next time. Yeah, cheers. <laughs>